Welcome to Fallout 76, this is Jim. In this video, we're going to take a look at completing daily challenges for today, Saturday, March the 30th, 2024. Now, as you can see, we have different events that are popping up. It's Bethesda's way for an April Fool's. Uh, the other day, Thursday, we had the Fashnet. Yesterday, Friday, we had Spooky Scorched. And today, we have Graham's Meat Week which is pretty cool. And of course, Grimm's Meat Week is happening right here. I've also saw Primal Cuts popping up, so the next 24 hours we'll have this great event to attend to, and it's always right here. Primal Cuts will be different locations, but you can check that out. Let's go ahead here, let's take part. Oh, critter chunks here. Oh, they already took them. Let's get some veggies here. So I did make a video the last time we had uh, Meat Week. And you can check out uh, that video if you so wish. Everything is time stamped in the video. It's very quick. Once it pops up on the screen, like it doesn't take very long to complete. Uh, so just be aware of that if you're not here within like a minute, <laughs> it's done. That's how quick it is. And everyone and their dog will be here to, to take part because Meat Week is a very popular... Uh, event to do okay uh, I know it's kind of going outside my usual daily weekly challenge video but uh, this uh, this weekend's a little bit different than it normally is so um, you know we're going to take care of some uh, events that we might not see in a little bit you know let's add some wood there there we go critter chunks oh we got some more vegetables up here clean up around here there we go in every task you do uh, you'll see the little bar bar at the top right hand corner of the screen but you can check out that video that i made the last time meet week, week was here and uh, I, I, I give like step by step what it is you have to do okay and we try to do everything in that video but uh, it goes so fast it's hard to do and uh i've tried to do this on my own like on a private server and i couldn't i could i wasn't able to pass it uh, on my own and let me know in the comments if you've ever tried that uh doing it on your own and um if it if it worked out for you but uh yeah i think we're almost done here need a couple more things there there we go done just like that just, just like that that's how that's how uh quick that's how quick it was pretty cool Someone uh, had attacked me by mistake, I'm sure. Okay, cool. And I think we got a diagram here that I uh, planned that I don't even know. Let's check that out here. Yeah, look at that. The mutant hound diagram. So we have a super mutant diagram. And it just goes on the wall and it kind of lights up. It's it's nothing real special, but you could check out that video I made. Jeez, I would say several months ago. It's called the uh, super mutant diagram. So the mutant hound diagram will be exactly the same. So this is a plan that I just learned there now. So that's awesome. Let's go ahead and learn that bad boy. Nice. And uh, yeah, rock and roll. I am pretty full on my script, so I'm gonna uh, drop that for someone. Someone can have that tato salad as well. I uh, don't need these meat cleavers. Somebody can take them. Yeah, pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. And don't forget, if you see Graham, uh, good chance to trade with him. Oh, he's busy right now. So he does have some pretty good plans you could um, buy from him if they pop up. Let's try it again. Huh, it's not popping up today. Maybe somebody already bought everything, who knows? Oh, no I doubt. Yeah, that's kind of odd. All right. Well, whatever, man. Whatever, buds. Okay. So that's pretty cool. So that's how quick it took. Like, like I think it was less than four minutes. <laughs> uh, but uh, I'm not sure if it'll be every hour on top of the air. That's the thing I'm not sure about. And then you'll see primal cuts popping up as well, like around uh, the wasteland. So you can join those events as well. So uh, you'll need the primal cuts to get the primal meat. And I think you need five primal meat to add onto here. I think you need at least five of them. 
to add on here. If you have four, it's not going to count. You need at least five. Uh, so that's what you use that for. So just an FYI, if you've never done uh, meat week before, but it'll just be like a meat, uh, meat day. <laughs> Graham's meat cook day. <laughs> Pretty cool. All right, let's take a look at our challenges here. Let's see what we got going on. Let's uh, highlight these guys. Okay, good stuff. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to quit this server. And I'm going to go to a private server because we had a little rough time looking for a few things the other day. Let's go to a private adventure that were there. I'm kind of guaranteed um, the enemies I'm looking for, the enemy spawns. So that's pretty cool. Everyone can take advantage of one day of meat week that's pretty good that's pretty cool of bethesda doing that i've never seen them do that before you know you see the odd time they'll have like christmas in july or something like that in the past but never uh something like this as an april fool's thing it's uh, i like it i like it keeps everyone on their toes you know brings people back I'll see if I could find that video and uh, put it at the end of this one uh, for, you know, steps to take for, for the meat week. All right, where are we here? Okay, let's go back to my camp here. Oh, there's primal cuts down there. See it? Now, I have done primal cuts by myself. Uh, that one's not, not too bad, like the one in the forest. That one is fairly easy to do by yourself. All right. Let's go here. Okay, let's take a look. All right, now I have many videos on my channel that will help you guys out. i give you different ideas, different locations, easy areas, hard areas that were there. If you're a brand speaking new player to the game, you're a returning player, even if you're an experienced player, there's a particular daily or weekly challenge that's giving you a hard time or trouble. I'm sure you'll find a video on my channel that will help you. I try to keep my videos as updated as I possibly can. And of course, you guys are awesome with the great comments, which is greatly appreciated. Okay, let's take a look here. There is some stuff we could do right here in our camp. Let's go ahead, scrap ammo at a workbench 50. So this one here, as compared to collect ammo, okay, it's a lot different. And uh, this one here, we actually have to uh, craft ammo. Uh, let's get a uh, carry weight booster here. So normally, if we have the daily weekly challenge, when it says collect ammo, we can collect it from our ammo box and, and from enemies and ammo crates and uh, boxes and such. But we actually have to craft it this time. So when you're crafting ammo, we have to do that at the old Tinker's Workbench. It's not really specific to what type of, type of ammo, so it could be any ammo at all. Uh, so ammo up here, this will be all your ballistic stuff here. And then down here will be your energy ammo, okay? I'm running out of copper. I think it's some more copper again. Um, let's go ahead. We are going to craft some uh, 45 rounds. So if you take note, for 12... 45 rounds, 3 gunpowder, 4 lead, 10 steel. Alright, now let's back out. Now when you're crafting ammo legitimately, there's something, uh, a couple of perk cards we can use to our advantage. Uh, under agility, um, there'll be a perk card called Ammo Smith. And this one here produces 80% more rounds when crafting ammunition. It's a 2 star. And that's what we're going to put on here today. That's the main one. And then under luck... Um, There'll be another perk card that could help anytime when you're crafting anything, for that matter. Super duper. This one here is a three star. When you're crafting anything, there's a 30% chance you'll get double results. So we'll put that guy on as well. And now you're going to see what happens. Let's go back to our Tinker's Workbench and go craft ammo. So instead of 12 rounds, it's uh, 21 rounds of 45. And if you take note of the requirements, it's the same amount of requirements. Three gun, powder, four lead, ten steel. And that's what Ammo Smith does. Okay. So if you're looking to uh, craft some ammo, definitely Ammo Smith. A uh, really good one to have. There we go. Craft ammo on a workbench 50 for 50. And you heard that lightning sound. That was the super duper kicking in. So we get all kinds of extra ammo there. So that's pretty cool. See the left hand side? That's the super duper. Uh, just don't forget to uh, switch your uh, perk cards back. 
to what they were. And actually, I see one here that uh, I should have done earlier. And I keep, I keep forgetting sometimes. You guys know me. I <laughs> So I always say to you guys, preach, practice what you preach sometimes, I guess. Hey, Jim. All right, let's go ahead. We're going to get some uh, food in us here. And then we'll uh, get some something to drink. There we go. All right, what's next here? What else can we do? Craft any chems too. Okay, so this one here forces us to actually craft chems as compared to collecting chems. So you're going to need a chemistry station. Let's go ahead and go craft. And we're going to do the same kind of deal here. So let's go down to healing. Okay. And uh, so let's take a look at this here. This Radaway right diluted times two, two purified water, and one full bag of Radaway. Right uh, stem pack diluted times two, you need two purified water and one full bag of, or one full stem pack, I should say. Now watch what happens. We're going to back out and I'm going to show you a perk card that's going to help out with that. Uh, now this one here is under intelligence. Let's take this guy here off. It's called chemist. You get double the quantity when you craft chems. It's only a one star. Let's go put him on. And we have proved this out to the day that under luck... Uh, the chemist uh, will stack with the super duper card like as we just did with the ammo. Okay. Now watch when we go back to our chemistry station. We're going to go craft. Go down to here to healing. And see how it doubled. So right away diluted times four. But it's the same requirements. Two purified water. One full bag of right away. Same with the thing with the stim pack diluted times four. Two purified water and one stim pack. So you can go ahead. We're going to craft just one here. Craft any chems two for two. Done. Just like that. We didn't even need... <clears throat> we actually didn't need to use... Excuse me, losing my voice. We actually didn't need to use uh, the chemist perk card or super duper. I just like to kind of add stuff in just uh, just to make note for the uh, the newer folks that you know, we have uh, these options available to us. Let's go down here if I can find what I was going to put on there. There we go. Yeah, I'm just losing my voice today. I don't know what's going on. Huh. Okay, there we go. All right. Done. What's next here? I think that's all we can do in our uh, camp here. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, let's go ahead here. Let's scrap a board game one. So I have many older videos showing you some great locations for board games. Uh, they're just short videos. Like I would say just a little over a minute. Um, my, uh, the video quality is good, but the voice quality, not so much because they are about my older videos with my older equipment. So I don't recommend using uh, headphones, but they are still valid here today and i'm going to take you a pretty good spot uh, again i brought you here just the other day and there should be one uh board game bluff right here at the blue ridge bunkhouse let's pop back over here all right so we picked up two here just the other day so there should be one more here because there was three of them to pick up I've heard some amazing stories about you. And there it is right there. So there's our game board. Let's pop over here to our Tinker's Workbench. Let's go scrap. Let's scrap that board game. Done. Scrap a board game one for one. And again, um, if you happen to pick all these up here, all beautiful. Rank 20. 25 more tickets. Love it. Easy peasy, man. <laughs> this is so easy. Um, Again, you can check out those older videos. I believe they're in a playlist that I have on my channel for board games. So you can check out that video. Uh, over in Halvatia, where we had the uh, Fashnet, the house that's across the way from the Yellow House, across the street, that has all kinds of board games in it as well. Uh, Fraternity Row... Uh, many of those houses that we can go in, they have lots of board games in upstairs. Uh, right up here, WV Lumber & Co. has a couple board games. Uh, the Retreat has all kinds of board games. So you can find board games in a lot of places. 
All right, what's next here? Oh, gonna get a big old bowl of soup back at Uh, let's take a look. Okay, let's um, let's go ahead harvest a wild plant or fungi. Twelve. All right, so wild plants, uh, they also include crops, okay? So if you go down here to Silva Homestead, there's a whole hill full of corn. Down here at Billings Homestead, there's a whole field full of uh, razor grain. And uh, when you pick, when you harvest crops, they are considered uh, wild plants or fungi. So let's pop over there to Silva Homestead real quick. And uh, another good spot there, too, uh, I like to kind of make a mention, is right down here in Nuka World on Tour. There's the, when, it, when you spawn in, we have the Tunnel of Love. Now, you can go inside the Tunnel of Love, even if that event isn't going on. And there's all kinds of glowing fungus in there. All kinds of her. All kinds of brain fungus up here at the Rusty Pick. Uh, there's all kinds of brain fungus up here by the abandoned uh, waste dump. Okay. So we're going to take, take a look at some stuff here. There's usually a uh, rad roach down here. So we have some uh, glowing fungus here. Now when you're harvesting uh, plants or fungus, okay, or fungi, there's a perk card that'll help you out with that. It's under perception. It's all called green thumb. Reap twice as much when harvesting flora. So if you're a herbivore, this is a must have, okay? But even if you're a carnivore like myself, it's good to have it in your back pocket or have it equipped for daily weekly challenges. I find it very useful for what I do every day. We've got some glowing fungus here. Instead of picking up one, you're actually picking up two. But each one that you pick up, it's only going to count as one when you, for the daily challenge. Very Something very similar uh, to uh, collecting wood. Okay, so here we got some wild corn. Again, wild corn is considered, uh, you know, harvesting plants or wild plants. Because this is wild corn, basically. So there we go. Harvest wild plant or fungi 12 for 12 done. And let's hit back here just so I can show you. So we have we got 14 corn and 10 glowing fungus. Hey, that's more than what we needed. That's more than 12. That's because we use the card. Um <laughs> Green Thumb. Yeah, it's a, just lost my memory there for a second. Alright. But uh I remember, even though you're picking up more, like you're picking up double using this per card, it's only gonna count as one towards your daily week challenge. Okay, I can't stress that enough. Okay, that's why the, I don't know where we ask the question. Hey, why is it doing this, Jim? Well, that's why. Okay, what's next here? What is next? Let's go ahead, kill a Windigo one. So I have many great videos showing you some great locations uh, for Windigos, okay? Uh, they're, they're older videos as well. Uh, one great spot for Windigos is right down here in Lewisburg. Let's go to Lewisburg Station. And we'll pop down here and see if we can f see if he's in the house today. Now, just take note, the locations that I give you for the Windigos, it's like a 50-50 chance. 50-50 chance for Windigo or something called the bloated glowing one, okay? So if you get on a server, it's a bloated glowing one. You can easily server hop until you get on a server with a Windigo. Okay, so just an FYI there. Now when you're here in Lewisburg, the Windigo is usually on this main street. And if it's not a Windigo, it'll be a blo uh, bloated glowing one. So we'll see if... Oh, yeah, he is, yeah. So there's our Windigo friend. Shoot him in the face. There we go. Kill a Windigo one for one. Done. Now, sometimes I mentioned bloated glowing one, just server hop. Um, another good spot for... Is right up here, Haven Church. Haven Church is a pretty good spot for a Windigo as well. And uh, where are we down here, Jim? Just trying to think of what it was called. I think it was Hornwright Air Purifier Site 3, I think. But uh, you can check out those videos. They're in a playlist on my channel. And again, they're older videos. So the sound quality isn't there. So don't recommend putting your headset in. 
but uh, they're still valid. They're still valid here today, okay? So you can check those out just in case you're having some trouble looking for Windigos, okay? Just an FYI. Okay, what's next here? What is next? Let's go ahead, destroy a Robot 10. So robots are found all throughout the wasteland. We'll find robots in around Beckley. I found robots in around here, the Charleston train yard. I usually bring you guys up here to Clarksburg. We've been up there quite a bit lately. So let's uh, let's go to the Charleston train yard and take care of some liberators here. Now, some other things that are considered uh, destroy a robot. Uh, turrets. Turrets are considered robots. And the vertebrates. You know how you see the three vertebrates following the little cargo one there? Uh, or vertebots. Um, they are considered robots as well. So if you shoot them out of the sky, they are considered robots as well. All right. So here at the Charleston train yard, we have some liberators that are here. It's been a little while since we've been here. So let's... Um, Gotten reports that uh, these guys causing a disturbance. So let's go ahead and we'll take care of them here. This guy's gonna have some good stuff on him. Oh, what was that? Who shot me there? Did you shoot me through here? There's no one in here. No, I didn't think so. I know it's been a while since I've been here, but... Huh! <laughs> you hear him? That's awesome. Oh, he's right there. What's going on, bud? These guys have fusion cells on them, which is good for me. Good for this weapon. I don't know if we're going to get ten here or not, but we'll uh, see how many's here today. That's at least three. the higher capacity Meg on here too. Oh, he's up there. What is going on there? Oh, close to that tool toolbox thinking, what in the world? This guy here is uh half with it there. All kinds of goodies from those guys. It's lock and load. Let's see what this guy's got on him. He's downstairs, boys. Let's get him. <laughs> Shooting the ceiling there, Jimmy, old pal. That's it for here, right? Yeah. It's been so long since I've been here. I used to come here a lot. I say, what is that? Alright, so there should be one guy outside, like there should be. Should be one guy outside, like usually like he's down, if I can get down here, there we go. Should be one guy outside here. And usually he's kind of eyeing the old Grafton monster that's down below. Right there, there he is right there. Perfect, there we go. Destroy robot 10 for 10, great spot. These little liberators here, very easy. Very easy spot for even if you're a uh, low level player. Ah, look at that. Rank 21, 25 more tickets, easy. Super easy. Um, you will come across a video of mine uh, where I show you just west of Vault 76, those two parking lots. So once upon a time, there used to be liberators there. And it's only been within the last, I would say, six months that they changed it to ghouls, like Bethesda changed it to ghouls. There's no longer liberators up there. So that's one of those videos that you just have to uh, kind of update people on, you know, that were I was popular at one time, but uh, just let people know it's no longer the case, you know? Okay, what's next here, Jim? Getting through them pretty good here. Let's go ahead. We're going to do this epic here. Kill a Deathclaw with a pistol, too. So we need to kill two Deathclaws. 
with a pistol. And I just happen to have a pistol on me in this form of this uh, lovely circuit breaker. Uh, so we need two death claws. Uh, death claw island up here will only have one death claw, but you can kill him, server hop the same area, and then get on a server with another death claw and kill them that way. Or you can come right over here to a good old abandoned waste dump where you can find two death claws at the one spot. Let's go over here. Right, let's go here. Make it over the fence this time, Jim. Nice job. All right, so let's go inside this uh, cavern here. Pick this up. Now again, I have a couple of videos on this and uh, two death claws in here at least, minimum. Uh, there have been a couple of videos where we've come across three death claws. Not all the time, though. Not all the time. As you can see, all kinds of brain fungus here. If you're looking to uh, harvest some fungi, if you happen to come here, great spot. Let's get up here in a little hidey hole that I mentioned to you guys the other day when we were going after these uh, death claws here. We're just going to walk up here. There's a little hidey hole. He has a hard time getting up here. So we're just going to wait for him to make his rounds. And he should be coming right around the corner. We're going to make sure we're lock and loaded. And, oh, there he is right there. Get the drop on him here. Yo, Death Claw, one for two. Piece of his head up here. As I said, good little spot up there. And the second death claw will be just down here. Again, always be on alert for a third one. Doesn't happen very often, but it can happen. Just shoot him in the face. And this is going to stun him anyway, because it's the circuit breaker. <laughs> See how it stunned him kind of thing? He couldn't move. I love this pistol. People, a lot of people don't like it, but uh, I use it a lot, and I, I really enjoy it. <laughs> I really enjoy it. If you know how to use it, you know, throw a grenade at him or something like that, you know what I mean? Just to kind of bring his health down. As you can see, all kinds of uh, glowing fungus in here. Five nests in around here. Look, there's, a, there's an egg right down here for someone. Deathclaw egg. Perfect. Great spot. All right, so there's our two deathclaws done. What's next? Oh, we got one left. Complete a daily quest. So I made a video about two and a half months ago. I would say almost three months now. Where we completed daily quests for newbies. Okay, now you don't have to be a newbie to watch the video or complete the daily quest. Because the, the video is about an hour and ten minutes long. We did a lot of daily quests. A lot of them are extremely easy. Everything is time stamped in the video. So it gives you guys lots of ideas of things you can do for daily quest, daily challenge, weekly challenges like this, okay? Um, let's take a look at the map. We have this one up here. We have talk to Roxy, talk to the curator. You know what? We're a little short on time here today. So let's, we'll do, let's do this easy one that's up here. We're up here at Prickett's Fort. It's called talk to the curator. It's miscellaneous, buried with honor. Let's go ahead and toggle him on just like that. So it'll show up. When you do that, it'll show up at the top right hand corner of the screen. See, it says daily, buried with honor. That's how you toggle those on. And uh, we're going to fast travel up here. Now, this one here, buried with honor, is extremely easy to do. Uh, you can do some of the other ones if you so wish, whatever you want to do. Uh, but. Um, We'll go talk to this guy here. Now, you don't have to sit here and listen to him either. You can just kind of keep going. <laughs> that's my, uh... That's my son there. <laughs> Getting the old control. 
thinking about playing Control myself, actually. Let me know in the comments if you want to see me play that game. Alright, so here we are here. Here's our uh, Get the Remains right there, so I'll pick them up. So you see it updating at the top right hand corner of the screen. Put the remains in the open graves. Let's open up our map right down here. Philippi Battlefield Cemetery. Let's pop down here. Now when you come here, there's going to be a couple mongrels outside. And there'll be a couple mongrels inside that house. But the ones inside the house are not going to bother you. Just take care of the ones that are outside here. There we go. Okay, so let's put the uh, body in the grave there. See that? Now there's usually a couple shovels around, so take note where they are. So there's a shovel here, and there's usually a shovel. Yeah, there's a shovel usually right here, okay? Uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to fill this grave with this dirt. Watch what happens. Oh, we need to equip the shovel, Jim. Need to equip the shovel there, old pal. Equip the shovel first, guys. <laughs> Complete a daily quest. One for one done. That's how easy. That's how easy that is. And um, drop the shovel. Drop that too. Now, I uh, I dropped the shovel. I don't have to because I'm on a uh, private server. But I recommend doing it. Because uh, other people might come up here and there's no shovel around. And no one carries a shovel around with them. Uh, <laughs> just FYI. Uh, there's someone around here, isn't there? Just take care of that cat. He's annoying. And I think we're done, guys. I think we're done. Let's take a look. We are. We are. So that extra daily we do there, that's pretty good. So it does take the video past a little bit longer than usual. And plus, we have these uh, special April Fools. Again, we have uh, Graham's Meat Cook. We have... Um, Primal meat popping up on the map here. Usually the primal cuts uh, pop up every 15 minutes, usually. And the Graham uh, meat cook will be every uh, hour on top of the hour. But uh, we'll see how it goes. But uh, just an FYI there. That's pretty good. Hopefully you guys get a nice plan that you don't have. You guys can have fun with that for the day. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and share when you have the chance. It really helps me out. I'd like to thank my channel members, Artistically Arranged, Boogaloo Bronson, Michael Edwards, Nigel Whiffen, Heather, White Tribe Starwin138. Thank you all so very much, and I hope you all have a nice day.